Hey people of YouTube, welcome to another video. Here are the things I will be using. I will be using my new train set I got about a week ago. And lots of these old trains. Except him. Okay, on with the show. One day Henry and Gordon were talking. And they were talking about basically how to shunt coaches. And Henry spoke up. You know, Gordon, tender engines aren't really the ideal steam engine for shunting coaches. Why is that, Henry? said Gordon. Well, we can't reverse and go forward as quickly as the steam engine, as the tank engines can, because our tenders get in the way. Also, because we're too fast. And then Thomas and Percy rolled up. Hey guys, what are you talking about? Said Percy. Yeah, I want to know too, said Thomas. Well, we're talking about how tender engines are the ideal train for shunting coaches and cars. Well, you can't do it because you're slower. Me and Thomas are faster. What was that? said Gordon. You can't beat me. Neither of your speed combined can beat me in a race. You can't beat me either, said Henry. Well, we can both sure try, said Thomas and Percy. We'll have to do it later. Thomas, go fetch my train. Fine. And with that, Thomas rolled away. When Thomas pulled into the yard and saw Henry's train, he didn't know what to do with it. It was so big, he didn't think he could push it. So he coupled up and pushed it to the platform. And then when he got, and then when he got there, he had overrun it. And then he pulled it back. And then he realized it wasn't even on the platform the right way. It was three o'clock, and Henry was had to pull the train at four, so he had to hurry. He had to go back and forth, rushing backward up and down the tracks, trying to couple up to the train and bring it into the platform the right way. Finally, he had done it. He coupled up and hurried and, and quickly raced away. When Thomas got to a set of points, he didn't know which way to go. He needed to turn the whole train around, and he decided to go right. And fortunately, that was the right choice. The train pulled into the station. put it into place and hurried back. When Thomas pulled in, he was very tired. He said, phew, I'm glad it didn't strike four o'clock before Henry came. And then all of a sudden, ding, dong, ding, dong. Oh no, it's four. I gotta get out of the way. And then he, and that's what he did. Then Thomas got out of the way for Henry to puff through. Hey Thomas, thanks for shutting my train. And as he coupled on, Henry noticed that the coupling between his tender and him and the coach of, called Annie and his tender were both loose. So he thought he'd have a better time pulling it. Henry tried to move, but, he, but his coach and the tender wouldn't let him. I can do it, said Henry, and he gave one big heave. Boom. And he left, and he left.
left the cars right at the station along with his tender. He said, oh bother, I can't believe I lost my tender at the station along with my cars. And then, hey Henry, what's the matter? Um, I lost my tender at the platform. Don't worry. Thomas coupled up to Henry and shunted him back to the platform. And Thomas put Henry out of the way so he could rest. Thank you, Thomas. You're welcome, Henry. When Henry was in the siding, Thomas coupled up to his train and pulled it into a siding away from the line. I'm glad no one hit this while Henry's tender was still coupled to it. Once Thomas backed in, he left the train and went to go back for Henry. Thomas? Yeah, said Thomas. Can I tell you something? said Henry. Yeah, spit it out, said Thomas. Thank you for being my friend and thank you for getting me out of the way at the platform. No problem, Henry. And after a few days, they were both going back to pulling trains. Oh. I hear good things about you. How's your nothing?